Hello students, we will now solve question number 18 from CBSE sample paper on a new pattern for mathematics. The question is find Evaluate, that is find the integration of sin x dx upon cos square x plus 1 into cos square x plus 4. In integration, approach is very important. Like in this question, one can easily see that the beginning will be by putting cos as uh, some variable by substitution. So if we put cos x as t, then we can get the numerator. So we put cos x is equal to t to get minus sin x dx is equal to dt in terms it is minus dt upon t square plus 1 into t square plus 4 this is what we get now what if we apply partial fraction for non-linear, non-repeating factors, it will be a very lengthy task. So what you can do using partial fraction, within partial fractions, using partial fractions, you can substitute without changing the respect. We take let t square is equal to y. So the question turns to And because these are linear factors, so you can take them as a upon 1 plus y plus b upon 4 plus y. Now, take the LCM. And compare both the sides so we have now we will compare both the sides I'm now opening the bracket you can directly club them there is no hard and fast rule that you need to open them and then so you can club them directly And now by comparing the coefficients, we get a plus b is equal to 0 because there is no y on the left hand side. But the constant can be compared with minus 1. From here b is coming minus a. So we have a and b with us. Now, as we'll come to integrate, we cannot integrate in y because the respect is still in dt. So as we write i equals, we put the value of a minus 1 by 3. We put the sign of integration. We have to come back to t. And same way, if you remember, that was... Uh, y plus 4 so it will turn to t square plus so it will be 2 square plus t square now what is the integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square so this is minus 1 by 3 tan inverse of t the integration of 1 upon 1 plus x squared is tan inverse of x so 1 upon 1 plus t square will be tan inverse of t and the other part is a special integration, which is uh, dx over x squared plus a squared or a squared plus x squared, which is 1 by a tan inverse of uh, x by a plus some constant. So we apply the same. So we get 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 
tan inverse of t by 2. Now by putting the value uh, of t we can get the answer and that is And if you want, you can take 1 by 3 common, but this is the answer given in uh, uh, the solution uh, book by CBSC. That this should be the answer for this worthy question. So it's, it's not a difficult question. The only thing was to apply partial fraction without uh, changing the respect. That is, it's called temporary substitution. So I hope uh, you understood the concept of it. Thank you very much.